Hey, I'm back with another quick video on Power Apps, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a document, a Word document, into a PDF. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to autofill templates within Power Apps, which is basically you put in some fields inside Power Apps, and then um, they're actually exported into a Word document, and then that Word document is automatically saved into one of your files. It's really cool because um, it really made everything really fast. If you wanted to fill in a thank you note, an NDA, and then also an invoice, um, you only had to enter that information in one time. You click a button and then everything that happens for you automatically. If you haven't watched that video yet, go ahead and go back and watch that video because this video is going to be a bit faster paced and I'm going to show you pretty much everything, how it works, and then I'm also going to show you how to create a PDF from one of those files, right? So without further ado, let's get started. So here I have um, one of the templates that I had from the previous video. Um, it's populating a Microsoft Word template, right? We're just we're just linking to a, a template right here that that invoice template, and then we're also asking for all this information within Power Apps to populate this template. And then after we populate this Microsoft Word template, we're actually just pulling it into the create file function, and we're just creating a file within SharePoint. And once we have that file saved in SharePoint, it's accessible and anyone can use it. So basically in Power Apps, um, you click on a button and then after filling in all this information, you click on a button and then it creates that file and it's accessible within your file document library. So basically what I want to show you now is instead of having it in a Word document, I also want to show you how to have a PDF it's because um, some people just want the end product and you're not going to like turn in, you know, some Word document to, to your customer. You're going to send them a PDF, right? Because that's, that's what everyone uses. So we want to convert this Word document that we just created from Power Apps into a PDF. So that's what I'm going to show you what to do now. And it's actually a relatively simple process, but I'm going to take you through the whole thing and show you how to do it. Um, if, you, if you just want to know how to do it, basically just watch these next few minutes and then you don't have to show me demonstrating everything and all, everything, okay? So let's get started here. Um, we have Power Apps, Populate Word Template, Create File, and then what we want to do is actually just create a new step. There's only two more steps to this in addition to these Word templates, right? So the new step is, let's look up Word. We want to convert a Word document to a PDF. And um, this is a really simple part, but it's also a little bit complicated. What you have to do is actually link this right here to the file location of the file that we just created. So this function is creating our Microsoft Word template inside a folder path, right? And it's naming it this specific name right here, this exact name. What we need to do is actually link this part right here to that exact name. And to do this, we have to make sure it's in the exact location. So this is in the IntelliCA database. I'm going to go over to the IntelliCA database and then I'm going to pick on documents and then I'm going to go over to our automate. See, it's inside automates here, right? Okay, so if we created this file, this file would actually appear right here alongside with this uh, random invoice document that I have. So below this invoice document would be this new document that I created. The problem is we, we don't have this document yet because the name of it is dependent on this variable, which our Power App user could enter anything in there, right? So it's completely variable on what this is. To make this work, we basically have to make this um, file name also variable in addition to this variable created file name that the Power Apps user is going to decide. And um, to do that, we basically just need to make this name the same thing as this, basically, right? So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. I recommend you type in um, this folder path so that we can enter in dynamic content because if we click on this button right here and then let's say we click on something right here, it's going to want to just keep it there and not move. So I recommend typing this in. So I have slash automates since um, my folder path right here is automates, see? It's right there, okay? So I have slash automates slash, and now I want to type in this file name that I'm going to I have I'm going to create but haven't created yet. So this one right here is populate a Microsoft Word template underscore name, right? So that's the name of my file. I'm gonna put that in right there. There it is. So there's my dynamic name for 
looking up a location. And then I have a space right here, so you need to be very exact, okay? So I have a space right there. So I'm gonna put in a space, and then it's just capital invoice, capital I, and then invoice dot docs, docs. And that's the file that we want to convert into a PDF. And that's all we have to do. This function is now going to convert this created file into a PDF. And our last step is to just create another file, which is the PDF that we just created. So let's go to create file in SharePoint. And I'm just going to save it to the same location as that thing. So let's go here and tell the database. Let's the folder path is let's, we can click on this little folder now shared documents and I want to put it in automates okay there it is that's our PDF so basically what I want to do now is name the file and this name we can name it anything but I'm pretty much just going to name it the same thing except in PDF format so the name there I'm going to pull that dot PDF so this is the docs version and this is the PDF version basically and the file content is that PDF document that we just created and there it is, that's that's our entire flow to making this work. And so this flow is now pulling in information from Power Ops, creating a Word document, and then creating a PDF after that. Very easy stuff. Okay, so let's save it up and go to Power Ops to see how it all fits in together. Okay, so here we are at Power Apps, and um, as you can see, I'm gonna go over back to the flow here. Um, I'm asking for all these fields right here. So um, these fields are right here, and um, the button that ha makes it all happen is this generate button right here. So as you can see, I have all these fields filled in right here. I'm not gonna show you exactly how I did it because I did do it in my previous video. Again, go check it out if you didn't watch it. That should be like a prerequisite to watching this video, right? So um, this part, it looks a little bit complicated, but it's not that bad at all. So we just fill in all this stuff, and then we're also navigating back to our page right there. Okay, so that's how this app right here works. And then so we fill in all this information and then theoretically once we press this generate button with all this information filled in our um, power app is going to generate a PDF and a Word document file for us so let's check it out in action so I have power apps opened up let's go ahead and pull up our file folder oops oops Okay, so this is the folder it should appear in once we put in the information. Right now we only have one Word document in there, but we're going to hopefully have a new Word document and then also a PDF once we get this Power App going. Okay, so this is my dashboard. Let's go to that page. Okay, here's the page. So I'm going to put in Henry the second as my name just to differentiate from the first one. Let's do invoice 150, build item, let's do phone 2. Let's do um, 8.99, or I guess 8,999. Why not? Date, um, sure, October 9th. I don't know. Okay, and then so once we click this generate button, um, hopefully our Power App connects with our flow, and then our flow just throws in our new documents right there according to the invoice. So there we go. I generated it. It navigated right back to that page, and if we wait a few moments our stuff should be appearing and there it is henry the second dot docs and a few moments later henry the second invoice so let's go ahead and open these up just to make sure they're all working well so here's the document that we generated right invoice there we go invoice number 150 build to henry the second phone two awesome awesome it all looks good okay that's our invoice let's delete all that okay and then we have our PDF right here and this is going to open up in edge and there we go here's our PDF that's not editable okay so it all worked out um, our power app successfully connected with flow and it successfully also just linked everything together to generate a word document and a PDF in the end this is some amazing stuff, guys. We can use Power Apps and connect it with Flow to literally generate a PDF form just by anybody clicking on those buttons inside the Power App. Now, in this video, I only made one PDF, but in fact, we can literally generate like tens of hundreds of PDFs, probably not hundreds, but um, if you want to generate like a few multiple multiple documents of PDFs you could do that easily now with power apps and it's easy you don't have to you don't have to go into every single document and change what you want to change um, you can literally just do it all in power apps fill in those templates and boom you've got it so this is some really powerful stuff guys and I really think anyone could find some really good use for it
So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you generate a PDF using Power Apps and in using input fields. Also, you can fill in the template with a Word document and then convert it to a PDF and save it to a file in your computer as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, please leave a comment, um, and please share this, guys, um, with your friends or whoever's new to learning Power Apps. Power Apps is a growing community. It's it's getting bigger day by day, and f the Power Platform is just crazy, guys. You guys, it's it's insane. Okay, so. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you guys want anything else done, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll try to help you as much as I can. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye. If you guys are interested in a little bit of community, I started a new subreddit on reddit.com called Power Users. Uh, Power Users is basically a place where we can just connect and share our stuff. Right now I'm just going to be posting my videos in Power Users, but if you guys would like to join um, Power Users and you guys use Reddit a lot, feel free to join the subreddit Power Users and I'll be on there to help you guys out. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye.